Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We got another modded challenge for you today. We're looking at the pincushion challenge. We already did the ICU. Go check out that video if you want to see it. It was pretty fun. Uh, before we get into this, I just want to say we are a new channel starting out. So if you could smash that like button, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, let's see. We have 11 knives and soy milk. We have more than 11 knives. Oh, and we're Eve, of course. Holy Okay, well, we got the mom butt knife, which is cool, and AoE uh, knives. Knives. Interesting. We have pretty low damage because of soy milk, but it gets multiplied because of the knife. So there's that, and we're going to uh, mom's heart. So that's fun. And I guess we just got to work out uh, hitting mobs. Sometimes that'll be difficult. And if we get hit, we got dead bird. So that's pretty cool, in my opinion. These guys don't have a ton of health, so the fact that they didn't die in one shot, pretty sad. But two shots did it. Okay, we got shops in this mod, but no item rooms and no dice rooms, I believe. Soul Heart could be big for us. That was dangerous. I thought he would just die when we walked into him. But that damage down is really something. Okay, and one doesn't go directly in front of us. They go like at an angle. So we got to figure that angle out. And that's the way to win. And that's another way to win. Alright, let's see if we can get three cents from the boss. Flighted over him. Shouldn't be a huge issue. I hope. And then I get hit immediately. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the fact that we don't have cardinal knives is really messing with me. Okay, but you know what? Not too bad. Only one hit. And we, we could afford to take it. And we did it on purpose, right? To get Dead Bird going. HP up, honestly, great. And a Soul Heart. Was that from one of the rocks that exploded, or was that a reward? Uh, let's check out the curse room before we grab that soul heart. Could get something cool like cursed eye. I don't know. Okay, we got a red chest. I don't know where these guys are or where I'm firing in particular, so... Here we go. It's that simple. Okay. No help there, no bombs or keys, which isn't a huge problem. Because... What would we use keys on anyway? Grab this. Hmm. Looking for damage ups, I guess. And if we somehow found a tractor beam, like in a crawl space or something, would that, you know, would that guide our knives altogether? That'd be crazy. Golden Beth's Faith. Is that the one that works when you go in angel deals? Or the one that works when you go down a floor? Either way, it spawns wisps for you at one of those points. And we won't find out till next floor, because we're not getting an angel deal this floor, probably. But maybe we will, I don't know. There's some weird, sick way to do it. I guess if we find a library with Book of Virtues. Can't go in there just yet. We don't have our knife, or blade, or whatever she starts with from greed modes. That stinks. We can check these for money. Not working out that well. Let's go find the boss. Not seen any tin rocks. That's no problem. Oh gosh. Alright, and using the knife at the angle is our goal here. Please don't hurt me, green little worm. Thank you, and thank you for the bomb. It is normal mode, so champions will be dropping their stuff every time, I believe. That's not bad. The pill could be bad, but we'll try it. I don't know if that affects the knife. And if it does, I'm sure it's bad. So, thanks. Okay, do one of these. Take all these out. Barely. Okay. Black flies, no real threat. They don't cause damage when you walk into them, so why be scared? Try to take him out before we go over and deal with the champion. Always fun. Plenty of keys. What do we got? Baby Plum? Could be a huge issue, I'll be honest. I'm trying to work out what kind of size circle of knife we want. We could just tap real quick, get a small circle explosion. Seems best. Maybe. Range up? Don't know if that's any good. Soul Heart. We could look at a Devil Deal. Why not? You know, why not? Honestly, I like Hungry Soul. I think. 
Mom's hand is here. We don't need the red heart. I knew that. Don't have to go in the shop. Let's head on down. Pretty fun so far. Very odd synergy, that's for sure. Oh, and it's the one that works when you go down a floor. So, And it's golden, so we get double the wisps. So that's pretty helpful. Now we can do that. I'm sure we could have done it with the knives too, but that sounds tough. Honestly, I'm going to use the wisps a little bit. And the Hungry Soul, I think they have a 20-odd chance of spawning when you kill an enemy. And they go after enemies in the room, so that's helpful to have. Thank you. Good pill? Great pill. Trying to not take damage from these mushrooms. That worked out. Double bomb here is always nice. Got to be a secret room around here somewhere. Not going to take that pill. I don't trust that one. I don't know why, but... I just don't. Don't hurt my wisps, please. There we go. Uh, red heart we can't grab. Totally cool. We could grab this money if we want to blow up these. One poop to make a bridge. We don't need that money right now. Maybe we'll check out the shop if we see it. There it is. And we got plenty of keys, so why not? Yeah, just quickly tapping makes a, the smallest possible circle, which is pretty big sometimes. But it seems to be my favorite strategy so far. Let's see if we get any items that'll help us. Baggy pills probably won't. Let's buy the soul heart for survivability's sake. Check out this other long room. Could be a secret room left of us. Down and left of our current position. Okay. Check it out. Didn't work out. That's fine. Could get a nickel for two bombs, I think? I don't know how to get it with one. Unless I'm crazy. Either way. Great chest. Maybe it wasn't our last bomb. And this isn't too bad of a room, I hope. Okay, don't take out our wisps. Thank you. What card is this? Tower card could help against a rough boss. Pestilence doesn't have to be a rough boss. In my opinion. He's, he's got a pretty big frame. We should be able to hit him rather quickly. We've got the souls doing work. It's pretty cool. And we'll get a cube of meat, which is useless. Half soul heart is nice, though. Half soul heart. Really useful. There's no charge bar for the knife because of soy milk, I guess. And in Repentance, it just, you know, automatically fires, basically. Kind of like how Brimstone Sway Milk works, automatically firing. But yeah. Got another bomb. These fires are dangerous. This room, also a bit dangerous, I'll be honest. But we should be able to handle it without so many issues. Wow, that's a lot of souls for no reason. Okay. Maybe we'll get a secret room under this boss trap room. That would be lucky. And extremely unlikely, given the position of the room. But we'll try it. Why not? I didn't think so. But sometimes you always have to hope. Sometimes always. That's right. Anyway. Take these two out. Secret room probably left of here. Shouldn't use my last bomb there. But I will anyway. That could be full of bombs. Burnt Penny's not bad. But I don't know if it's better than Golden... Beth's Faith. Okay. Try to get some shots in here before they swarm us. That was dangerous. He could have exploded right next to us. Luckily, we avoided that. A Rotten Heart that we can't reach. Probably not going to pick that up for various reasons. But a .53 damage flies from our hearts. Wouldn't be that helpful, I'll be honest. Okay, we'll do some of this. That's good. Take this guy out really simply. No reward from the room. I didn't want one anyway. We got a treasury at the cost of two keys. We could do that. Not using keys for much else. Kind of playing it safe in this room because all the creep. And where is the other guy? There he is. Okay, he's dead. Now we have even more keys. We're definitely checking this out. I'm sure it'll be great. Eh, maybe. Three keys for two bombs. Why not? 
That's what I gotta say. Why not? This could be a dangerous room. Turns out it really wasn't. Shop here. Diplopia. For 15 cents. I mean, we'll pick it up. Maybe we can double a devil deal. I almost said devil a double deal, which isn't a thing. So, yeah. Would love to get two more cents for the soul heart in the shop, but oh well. Maybe we will, considering Bumbino does steal money. So that doesn't really generate money, now does it? Oh my god. Get away from me. Oh no. Okay. Dead bird, you know what to do. Maybe you don't know what to do, dead bird. Okay, hoping for a devil deal with thousands of items. It's an HP up, which is fine. We don't want to double that, that's for sure. Is there any way we can get two cents? Was there a beggar in here? Perfect. Okay. So we lost some hits because Bumbino's a jerk. But we got some health back. And just that. Just some health. Our boss items have been range, health, and an orbital we haven't been using. And uh, health again. Looking for a damage up, that's for sure. That could help. This room seems dangerous because it is. And we're guaranteed a deal on this floor unless we take red heart damage, so the Blopi will have a use, unless it's just books or something in there. I don't know. We'll have to see. Why did you run away from me immediately? It's extremely rude. Alright, let's see what these two are doing down here. Not much. Soul, soul, soul. Let them take care of that spider so we don't lose our fires. Jesus. Well, that's why we lost a fire. Do they scale up our damage? Because I can't understand why they're underperforming if so. Okay. They must. It takes them forever to kill a simple f floor spider. Yeah. Well, it's still a good item for the occasional damage somewhere. So I don't mind that we have it. Take these guys out a little bit at a time. Divide and conquer. That's what I always say. Butter? I don't think so. Unless you let me use Diplopia unlimitedly. Which I don't think you do. Thanks for the help after I get hit. Uh-oh. Simple. Very simple. Lots of keys. Could Diplopia a shop if it's really good, I guess? We can check it out. I mean, the candle would help. I had to do it. Hopefully we don't have a super awesome devil deal now that I regret not doubling. But, oh well, you know? The candle's going to be really helpful for when we just can't kill somebody with our knives. And that's the thing about challenges. My favorite thing to do in challenges is to subvert the challenge immediately. And by immediately, I mean 12 minutes in, in this case. But, you know. Could get two bombs here for the price of one. That's what I like to call a good deal. And a curse room find. That's pretty good. And a key. Two sacks. Oh my gosh. They were really happy about us uh, coming in there. Oh, and we can get in the curse room without taking damage. That's also incredible. Guess what's in here? A soul heart. I was going to say nothing. I was, it was on the tip of my tongue. Because it was about to be nothing. And there's a tinted rock in here. How about that? Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. This one's a challenging room. Uh-oh. And I'm not even kidding. And the spikes come back, so we really got to, you know, move off them at some point. Okay. I don't know why I stood there for about 40 seconds. And hopefully you don't know either. Because that would be weird. But anyway. What do we got here? Emperor card could help us through the room real quick. Tower card to kill this boss. Sounds good. He summons his own tower card at times. Because he's war. And that's okay. Here's the end. My favorite is when he gets stuck in the corner on a fire that hurts him. And he's stuck behind the rocks. And then he just stays there until he dies. It's pretty fun to witness. I only got one wisp. Did get hit. That's unfortunate. Stop hitting us, please. Okay. 
Level 2 cube meat is nice. 7 seals could be good. Either the Lusty Blood, Bloody Lust could be good. That's a lot of our HP. I don't mind buying the 7 seals. We'll come back for the Emperor card. Mm -hmm. And we'll head on down. Blue Candle was a nice buy. I don't know why we're getting so many horsemen. And yeah, otherwise we're doing okay. Our, the flies from 7 seals aren't going to be doing that much again because we have low base damage. Or low damage in general. But they're doing something. And the guy with the creep does creep. War does contact damage. So they're not useless. It's not a useless item. I say to myself. Lamenting my loss of one soul heart. Or one red heart. Okay, throw this over there. Who's alive? And stop. There we go. Lots of red hearts over here for some reason. This room's awful. For no reason. It's just a dead end. That's a haunted chest. We'll just leave it. I think it disappears if he picks it up. I don't know. Piercing on the knives helps against these guys. The blue fire was about to help, but then they were dead. So that was good. A bit of this, a bit of that. Okay, looking good. Soul Heart, half. Don't mind if I do. And these were all not continuationing the floor. Continuing the floor. A continuation of the floor, I guess I wanted to say. I don't know how to speak. It's pretty obvious by now. Alright, we'll take a random guess and go here. It's a dead end. Pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Double bomb is why I did it. I knew a double bomb would come out of there. We're looking for mom. We could find the shop, maybe buy a soul heart or two. If we're lucky. But I don't know. Okay, there's the shop. And if this guy could just wander this away. Perfect. 12 cents, my favorite number. Not really. Uh, okay, no soul hearts. Alabaster box. Try and get a deal. Maybe if we can get ceremonial robes, that'd be cool. Ace of clubs. Why not? Emperor. Take another bomb. Alright, I'm feeling the boss over here, but who knows? Gotta get these fires out of here. Okay. Actually, we got our wisps. We could just walk on by. Shame we lost one, though. Oh, the boss is over here. That's nice. Get out of here, Mr. Host. Okay, let's see how we do. Not too bad. And we got the 360 DPS, so we can hit things without being right in front of it. And even with that fact, I still stood in front of the, the holes and got hit. But oh well, tears up? Okay. Boss Rush. We could steal an item from Boss Rush and then use the Emperor card to get out. But it would have to be amazing. Fruity Plum, not amazing. No. No. Hmm. I don't know how that works with the knife. Let's try it. I don't see any electricity on the knife. I'll be upset if it doesn't work. I used my card for that. Come on. Alright, room one. Okay, it does proc some electricity among the... Uh, Struck in enemies. That's good. We walk this guy into the spikes easily enough. Okay, it's not overwhelmingly great, but the the electricity does a little bit, so we'll take it. Any soul hearts in here? Tinted rocks, that is. Please stop exploding. Okay, not that I can see. And that means maybe, because I can't see everything. I am not omnipotent, despite my best efforts. Oh, these lumps can frick themselves, if you know what I mean. Alright, that's good. No tinted, that's good too. Some of this. Take one of those. Okay, and the soul did all the work, so thanks again for being a great item. Holy crap, at least our wisps protect us from these shots. 
It was nice. It was a good find for a trinket. What? Who made this room? And why? Okay. Super secret. I'm really feeling it. Okay. Well, never mind. Unless we want to double charge the candle for a quick start to the uh, boss fight. Let's just blow them up and see what we get. No thanks, but good devil deal chance increase. And we're getting a devil deal item from this boss. Guaranteed, so that's pretty cool. Let's knock one of those over there. That'll really uh, speed things up. And take that. And take that. <laughs> Brimstone, don't mind if I do. No idea how it interacts. Okay, so it adds a knifey brimstone after the, uh, the Ring of Knives. And uh, Betrayal. I do have an idea how it interacts poorly because we're not getting it. So, yeah. Okay, one more floor to go. We're just going to Mom's Heart for the challenge. And now we got Brimstone. So, it could still be a tough run. I don't know. Get out of here. Alright. Steal these while the spikes are down. Looking for spiders. Perfect. Okay. Uh-oh. We still have soy milk damage, don't forget. So brimstone, while cool, isn't the uh, slaying force it always is. Lucky key? I mean, we're not moving another floor, so... Rusted key, whatever. That's great. These guys? Not really much chance for them. Could be a secret room under here? Yeah? Yeah, could be. Let's see if we're correct. Nope. Cool. Didn't want to be right anyway. Alright, we'll go over here and do some brimstone. Yeah, so we got some decent synergies and some decent things to carry us where the knives uh, have a problem. The souls help, the fire help, brimstone forwarding helps for sure. Soul heart, don't mind if I do. Don't see a tin of rock, but who knows. Oh, and the, the wisps? That was a big get for just a trinket. They provided a lot of utility. Secret room of some sort. Guaranteed. Well, agreed. Oh, we'll just stand over the rocks and beat them this way. I think it's a much more healthy option. Alright, what's up here? A lot of enemies, it turns out. But we dispatch them easily enough. And yeah, starting to see why this challenge is called Pin Cushion. Because we're a circle with the knives. I get it. And knives are sharp, like pins. Not like the worm, but you know. Anyway. Oh, that's a dead end. Alright, double bomb is pretty good. Super secret? Could be right here, we don't know. Turns out it's not. Alright, these guys can perish. I said perish? Yeah, if we got one damage up, it would have been cool. And I guess we did. We got small rock. So, it was cool when we got small rock, because it's a damage up. There. I take back anything negative I was going to say. What a jerk. Okay, stand up. Thank you. Jesus. Alright, here's the boss of the challenge. Could be a challenging boss of the challenge. I don't know. But we got a decent amount of souls from the eyes. Who's over there? Pestilence, famine, they're doing stuff. We're throwing the fire. Uh-oh. We gotta move on this one. We're cushioning around. Brimstone, I'll be honest, it helps. And that was it. So, decent, fun run. That was the pin cushion challenge. And now it's complete. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want more Isaac content. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. See you next time, and take care of yourself.